Today, I'm going to show you how you can install Cruise Control in just a couple of minutes. Let's -a go! The first thing you want to want to do is go to the video description and download Cruise Control. While you're there, grab the OBS WebSocket plugin and install it. We're going to need this later on. Once you've downloaded Cruise Control, just unzip the file into a folder that's easy to access on your PC. If you have a folder with all of your stream items in it, this one would be perfect for that. If you want a really simple way of configuring Cruise Control, you can download Crash's configuration tool in the video description and follow the steps there. If, however, you're like me and prefer a hands-on approach, open up your Cruise Control master folder, head on into the settings folder, and we're going to get stuck in here. In the chat folder, we have two files. Oath.txt is for authorizing the account you wish Cruise Control to interact with. To link this to account, follow the link in the description. And the user file is the channel you wish Cruise Control to interact with. Going back into our settings folder, the next one we're going to go into is OBS. Now, if you use OBS, follow these steps. If you use Streamlabs OBS, skip ahead to the next part of the video. The information we need for these two files here can all be found within OBS itself. Go to Tools, WebSocket Server Settings. You'll only be able to see this setting file here if you downloaded and installed the WebSocket Server Settings plugin earlier on. Once you're in this window, just confirm all the information matches the two files. It's highly recommended that you use a password for the authentication, but if you don't use a password, you can just leave this file blank. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, the process is very similar. We just have one file, and to get the information on this, head on over into Streamlabs OBS, go to your settings, look for the, the remote control, click your QR code, under there you'll see show details, and just copy your API token. Once you've done that, close Streamlabs OBS down, and reopen it as administrator to enable the remote control API settings. We're almost done here. The last three folders are all for events that happen within your stream. If you're using Stream Elements, go to your account settings and click on the Show Secrets toggle on the right hand side and copy the JWT token that appears here. Paste that into the JWT token file and you're good to go. If you're using Streamlabs, the process is relatively similar. Go to the API settings link in the video description and click on the API Tokens tab. Simply copy your Socket API token and paste it into the Socket API token file in the settings folder. For the last folder in our settings, the user.txt file in our Twitch folder is just the channel you want Cruise Control to watch for channel point redemptions and hype trains. This would be your channel. With all of your settings configured, open up OBS or Streamlabs OBS and add a browser source to your scene collection. What I would recommend doing is adding this browser source to a scene that's included in all other scenes. For example, on my streaming setup, I have a browser sources scene that holds all of my alerts in one place. I just have to copy the scene itself into individual scenes. When you've added the browser source, go into the settings of the file and check the local file checkbox. Browse for the index.html file in your Cruise Control folder and you're good to go. Once your browser source has been added, go over to your Twitch chat and give it a test. And that is how you set up Cruise Control in just a couple of minutes. In the next video, I'll show you what it can do. Have fun.